What's up everybody, it's your boy FizzyBR back at it again with another Unity tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to add cosmetics to your Girl Attack fan game with also making a kick hammer. So, let's just get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to my Discord link in the description and get all these scripts right here, which is the change head, face, right hand, left hand cosmetics. Because this is going to be very useful when we're, um, you know, when you're making cosmetics. But first, since this is a tutorial, I'm just going to make a cube. Just so it's an, the enable. Make it is trigger. And yeah, this is just going to be the enable. So then I'm just going to scale it down. Make it like a cube. I'm just going to make it a button. So it's going to be enable. And then this is going to be the disable. After that, click on both of them. Drag in the change right hand cosmetic. By the way, to get the script, you're going to want to go to my Discord server, link in the description, go to the Kick Hammer tab, download the Kick Boy script that I fully made, then go back, drag it in, I already have it, so it's here, it's going to be right here, so then what we're going to want to do is, let me just close this, um, we're going to go to left hand and right hand, open those up, you can see where right hand cosmetic is, right click on it, create a cube, We're just gonna uh, make this like a cube. So then we're just gonna create an empty, call this kick. I spelled it wrong. Oh my goodness. And there you go. And I'll just move it up here. By the way, the kick, the name kick is the empty object. Drag in the kick hammer. It's it. Here. This is the actual collider. But if you actually have like parts, like a model that you made. You're usually gonna have to empty a game object. Make sure it's on the cube. So like, unlike the model, it's usually, this is, let's pretend this is the model. So what you're gonna do is a copy the model and then call this kit collider so then you know. I spelled collider wrong, but I don't care. So as you can see, we got a cube there and a cube here. We got two cubes. One is the collider, one is the actual hammer. What I recommend is dragging the collider under the hammer, so the hammer follows the kick. On the actual kick hammer, not like the actual kick collider, but on the kick hammer, make sure box collider is off and mesh render on, and is trigger off. On the kick collider, turn on mesh render, make sure box collider is on, and then is trigger. Drag in the kick boy script into here, the actual kick collider, where it says photon view, put player, and then the collider, put the kick collider, the reason why I put collider is because um, it needs to disable the collider for you. And now, you should be good to go. So then all you gotta do is just disable the cosmetic, which is the entire thing. Copy the name. And then after that, go back. where it's set on the, Go back to your enable, where it says change right hand cosmetic. Paste the name into there, onto the enable. And then it will enable the cosmetic. And then make sure you don't put in the name for disable. Because... If you put no name, then it would just disable it. It'll think nothing is there, so then it will just disable it. But the only way to see if it works is by testing it with somebody else. But I already know it works because I tested the script with somebody else when they were playing my game. So let's just make sure it enables. As you can see, it goes into the hand. You're able to rotate it. And as you can see, the kick is on here. You can't kick yourself though, because there, there's a reason why I put photon view. See, you can't kick yourself. But that is all you have to do. I hope this tutorial helped. Hope you guys have an amazing day.